It's another beautiful day in paradise. Wow, it smells good back here. What are we smelling? Yeah, I don't know. Look, we got a lot of interesting plants in the resident's native garden. This little guy. <laughs> Should we call him the greeter? This little greeter is the Cuban brown anole, which is not native to Florida. Instead, these little guys were transported into the state as eggs attached to trees and plants being shipped in from Cuba. This one is a male. His throat dewlap is signaling his possession of the territory and at the same time hoping to attract females for mating. Good luck, little buddy. You will see lots of bees in the resident raised gardens at Cypress Cove. This day we saw two varieties. First is the common bumblebee. Bumblebees have stripes and nest in existing cavities, often underground. Carpenter bees, on the other hand, are larger, all black in color. They tunnel into wood to lay their eggs. Also, they seldom sting, so that's good news for us. And that, you know, is Dolphin Lake. Mighty pretty here. Looks like they just want to come to you, Chuck. <laughs> Do you see these guys very often? Not often, and rarely ever see it three of them at a time. Muscovy ducks are also not native to Florida. They're native to Mexico, Central and South Muscovy America, duck. and parts of Texas. These birds were illegally released into Florida by private individuals wanting to use them for ornamental purposes or as pets. Some people like them, some people don't. But today, they're models for Chuck Gagner. Click away, Chuck.
see you. Happy wildlife hunting. <laughs>